Welcome to the After School Reviews. Welcome to the After School Reviews. Welcome to After School Reviews. And other stuff besides reviews. Welcome to After School Reviews. Please subscribe, turn on the bell icon. Please like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section. Today we're having a look at this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ninja Elite series shredder. Uh, he is about $7 at Walmart and he's in scale with the NECA figures. Um, and I've got the Toon Turtles and I didn't have a shredder because I never got the two pack of him and Krang and instead I bought a 18 inch Freddie Mercury figure. But I'm actually gonna be taking this guy and I'm gonna be repainting him. So I just brought him over here for this and in a month I'll bring him back. But I'm gonna, I think, change the cape. And the only thing I'm gonna need is his, his sword and the actual figure. And all those little accessories right there that are vintage looking can go piss off. But here he is. And I mean, he looks decent. He's okay like this. Um, he has a little lacking in articulation. And oddly enough, since we're talking about that, there's actually apparently, allegedly, 18 points of articulation. But there's a sticker underneath this. And I don't know how many it says underneath that. So... Who knows? But here's the shredder before, um, and his mouth seems kind of small. But he seems like he's four colors, and there's no paint. I mean, it's all casted uh, plastic here. Um, he's okay. He's decent. Uh, he runs for about twenty dollars. He's twenty-eight on Big Bad. Um, he's his legs can go side. They can't go forward. Like this is literally all they can do. Um, there's no bicep swivel or anything. The head will rotate. Um, the mouth head seems really freaking small, the mouthpiece. Um, but this is what we're starting out with. And uh, we'll come back and show a reveal. And I'm going to paint him much like the NECA version. Because I really like how the NECA version's painted. Um, but this guy's not a bad start. Here is uh, Shredder fully taken apart. So you can kind of see what we're working with here. I'm going to give him a cloth goods cape 100% for sure on that. I can see how the, how the hands are here with their pegs uh, and how these pieces are here. Um, so I'll do something with this. And he does have sort of a sleeves here, like our little indents and then there's his feet. Um, so, so there's that. Here's the cape. But uh, yeah, that, that's what he looks like deconstructed so far. So here we have uh, what I've done so far, is I've went ahead and just added sort of a black wash to Shredder. Uh, and I'm okay with this dirty look. Uh, usually I don't do it, but I did do it. And I'm not too happy with the muscles yet. Uh, I think the arms look a little weird up there. Um, and then maybe we're missing, maybe there needs to be a line there. Um, maybe, and maybe some on the elbows. I think the abs and everything are coming through. I need to paint these as well. Um, I have painted the head a little bit, just a test uh, of the color on there. So I'm gonna use this color. And then I've painted these this color. And I'll do those probably white. And then these parts may be black since the neck one's black. But in the show, they're the regular color. So there we have the new cape. Uh, very stylish, poseable. All of that got a bendy wire in it. Not super easy to use, but I mean, better than uh, this plastic one he came with. So that's the progress so far. A little bit more on Shredder here. He's looking pretty nice, I must add. Uh, he's got a lot of bunch of pops of color, which is what I was going for. Uh, and diversity and color and all that sort of jazz. I am not finished on this guy yet, just tracking his progress yet again. And oh my gosh, from stock model to now, he is looking quite better. Um, you know, more paint touch ups needed and, and all of that. But I think right now, even if I just wanted this guy to, to just chill like this, this is a pretty wonderful $7 piece. Um, amazing. 
Here is Shredder now with a little bit of black line work on the armor. Um, and I think that adds a little bit more of a pop in there. I'm going to now do it for the top. And I might add uh, white for those squares on the mask. Or like near the, the headpiece and add a little black in there. Outlining that as well to sort of really show the, uh, show the detail there. And give this sort of a line art. I don't think I'll do that to the sword, but I will definitely do that up there. Well, here is the two-pack neck of turtles, right? Here's Raph and Michelangelo. And over here we have this uh, Elite Series Shredder. There he is in there. Uh, kind of wish I'd added more blue on the handle. I might change that up eventually. But I stuck him back in there. I stuck his head back on, so his, head's, his neck's real short. And then we got these two turtles. But as you can see, I think they look fairly nice together of course he's not show accurate he's based off the NECA one but I wanted to change the the headpiece of course and uh, I kept the arm gauntlets blue and I gave him brown you know you already know that but there he is kind of next to those guys and I think here is what the elite series shredder looks like next to these turtles I think they're at least you know shredders at least taller than Raph um, or at least I think so. He looks it right a little bit, um, and that's all. It was. I was happy he was at least taller than the turtles, uh, because then it just wouldn't feel right. But there you have him against Raph, right? And I think the shredder turned out very nice. I enjoy the way he looks. Sure, the muscles are a little odd, and maybe I'll just like do something different with the muscles. Uh, you know, the armor looks pretty nice. I say the black is just black, right? I haven't done anything to that. Dry brushed? Bring out the details, sure, but it might maybe do that in an odd way. Um, here's the just the regular raff. So I think the colors kind of go well uh, in terms of the browns here. Of course, this is a lighter brown than these on the gauntlets and behind the legs, but I still think um, that I think he looks pretty nice for another great custom. Uh, very fun to do this one. And maybe he's not even done. I mean, there's still little details here that are there that could be painted, whether they're show accurate or not. And the face, he still has some touch-ups needed. Um, and then the cape, uh, it's pretty cool to mess with. The back there, you can see some detail you know, on the figure. So, I think the Shredder's pretty cool, and especially for seven bucks. Well, if you're getting them for 28 on Big Bad Toy Store, at least you have a nice $38, $28 figure to get to go with your NECA turtles if you don't have a shredder for that. Um, now for Krang, you can just get the classic uh, Playmates version that's at Walmart right now for $10. Bucks. Um, but, you know, you figure that out. This guy looks beautiful. I think a dry brushing right there would bring that out, I think, a little bit more. But nonetheless. See, I tried to keep it with this black lining here, but I think it's just too thick on Shredder, and it's just too many lines. I uh, kind of wanted to do one here. Uh, there's a peck line there I've kind of filled in uh, for Shredder. You can kind of see it there. And, you know, these guys have lines. Um, and I just didn't do the lines there. I just did a wash for the cracks and crevices, and I, I like that. But there is uh, the Custom Elite Series Shredder figure. So from stock to this guy, you know, there's the stock on the left to this guy. There is no comparison. This guy, customize him. Give him your own paint job. But I like this blue and white deco that I'm doing here. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.